Good morning, teachers and students, and welcome back to another episode of Mass News. I'm Amanda Farron. And I'm Natalie Marno. Mass, Mass News starts now. now. Each year, NFL fans eagerly await the Super Bowl. This year, Miami gets the opportunity to host this highly anticipated event. Now, on to a preview with Miguel Rojas on what you should expect at this year's Super Bowl. With the regular football season coming to an end, Super Bowl 54 is on the way, with Kansas City Chiefs facing off the San Francisco 49ers. I'm Miguel Rojas, reporting for Mass News. 15 points a game allowed over the last six. Second, the Kansas City Chiefs face off with the San Francisco 49ers. In over 50 years, Kansas City Chiefs hadn't made an appearance in the Super Bowl, but 49ers made it in 2013. So just the commercials, like, half the reason I watch the Super Bowl is just because of the commercials. Like, they're so entertaining. You get me? Niners, just because they're the overall the, 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 the better team, I kind of like, their, their offense can carry their defense and the defense. It's like, it like levels out. For this year's NFL playoffs, Kansas City Chiefs played against the Tennessee Titans, leading 11 points, while the San Francisco 49ers led 17 points against the Green Bay Packers. The Super Bowl not only presents a game for many people to watch, there's commercials who advertise their products in a creative and funny way. So I feel when a company has to invest so much money for a slot, for an event as big as the Super Bowl, they're going to put their best foot forward. Um, they're going to put out the horse and pony show. They're going to make a crazy, crazy, crazy commercial because they really want audiences to tune in. And a lot of people don't, listen, I'm... I mean, as much as, as I, I see the value of the Super Bowl, I don't enjoy the Super Bowl for the actual game. For me, it's all about the commercial. Um, so I, I would tune in just to see the commercials. What are you most excited for? Comment down below. Don't forget to tune in to Fox at 6.30 p.m. to watch the Super Bowl. I'm Miguel Ross, and I'm back to the newsroom. Now on to a commercial break. The U.S. produces more than 200 million tons of garbage per year. 55% of that trash ends up in landfills. Many of these products take 10 to thousands of years to decompose. These items produce toxic gases like methane to our environment. An alternative way to clean up our environment is to use the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. If you see trash on the floor, pick it up. Limit the amount of trash you use by reusing products like plastic water bottles. Instead of throwing away plastic in the trash, recycle it. By following the three R's, we can all live in a healthier environment. French fries are one of America's most popular dishes. Due to its high command, many fast food restaurants have made their own variation to this tasty snack. Now on to Emily Breeding for more on the famous snack. We all love the iconic French fry, each of us having our favorite go-to place to get them. Today, two of our fellow broadcasting students are putting these fake fries to the test. Let's meet the contestants. Hey guys, it's Melanie Fuentes and Mara Bourdon. Today, we're going to be doing the French fry challenge. Here are the rules. Two math students will go head to head guessing where each famous fry is from. Whoever guesses the most restaurants correctly wins. At the end, each contestant will rate the fries from which one they like the most to least. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, Burger, Burger King. King. <laughs> Is it? Ding! Oh, hey! <laughs> 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 one fry, let's eat it. This is obvious. <laughs> three! <laughs> what's your no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow! <laughs> three, two, one! McDonald's! McDonald's. <laughs> 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 to be honest, McDonald's fries are kind of gross. <laughs> These are worse than Burger King. These are really gross. These are bad. They, they taste sour. Am I gonna eat them? They taste like old candy. <laughs> okay. I want water. You ready? Me too. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Wendy's. Wendy's. 
Um, there, there's two fries on each of your plates. Oh! I don't have any fries! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it should be an apple. <laughs> Wait, now I'm confused. What is this? Oh, I got a fry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is checkers. Mm -hmm. What's the Chick fil A? Thank you for watching. Now back to Emily. Thanks for tuning in to this week's challenge. I'm Emily Breeding, and now back to Newsroom. Being that Valentine's Day is right around the corner, people are struggling to find that perfect gift for that ideal someone. Luckily, here at Mass, we have the perfect solution. Now on to Tyler Coleman for more information. Valentine's Day is coming up and here at Mass, we like to celebrate using Valentine's Grants. There are $5 and will be sold after school in the Breezeway. They will be distributed on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Mass News. I'm Natalie Moreno. And I'm Amanda Farron. See, See you, you next week. week.